Hi, everyone. It's Chris. I'm a content developer and project management specialist here at N2K Networks. I'm also your host for this week's edition of CertBite, where I share a practice question from our suite of industry-leading content and a study tip to help you achieve the professional certifications you need to fast-track your career growth in IT, cybersecurity, and project management. Today's question targets the Certified Associate in Project Management CAPM 7th Edition exam. It was updated in July 2023 to align with the PMP 7th Edition. It's aimed at anyone interested in learning the fundamentals of project management or for anyone new to the profession. Entrepreneur Media ranked the CAPM as the most in demand professional certification. My teammate Dan is here today as our new guest host. Welcome, Dan. How are you today? Well, I'm doing great, Chris. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So, Dan, what level of project management expertise would you say you are at? Well, um, over my career, I've managed a whole lot of projects, but I don't have any formal training. So this is going to be a little bit interesting. Yes, it will be. I promise you. So, Dan, before we get into the question, like I always do, I'm going to share a 10-second study bit for this exam for our listeners. Given you're our CompTIA expert, this may align with how some of your exams work. So my 10-second study bit for the CAPM is study it as if you were studying for the PMP. So as I mentioned, the CAPM is based off the PMP 7th edition exam, and it uses PMI's PMBOK guide along with seven other sources that the PMI freely shares. Here's a bonus bit. I also wrote a comprehensive CAPM study guide, which comes free when you purchase our CAPM practice exam. So now on to your question. Dan, are you ready? Yes, I am. Let's see uh, how much I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) I think you'll do fine. All right, here is your question. Which of the following is not an input to a product roadmap? So for our listeners, in terms of CAPM, A product roadmap is defined as, per the PMI, and I quote, a high level of the features and functionality to include in a product along with the sequence in which they will be built or delivered. So that's a mouthful, and I'll repeat the question. Which of the following is not an input to a product roadmap? So Dan, your choices are A, business objectives, B, business feature requirements, C, business architecture, or D, business goals. Now, Dan, while you think over your answer, this question is part of Domain 4, Business Analysis Frameworks, which is 27% of what's covered on the CAPM exam. So why don't you talk over your thoughts a bit as you think through the answers? Okay, so we are looking for something that does not belong, which is not an input to a product roadmap. So the first one that you gave me, business objectives, well, that seems like that you would have to have that in order to help define what the project is. The business feature requirements, well, um, that would be part of a high-level view of the features. Uh, Business architecture, let's hang on to that. Uh, Business goals, um, high-level view of the features and functionality. So the business goals... And the objectives and the features, they all seem like they should be part of the project plan. So I'm going to take a shot just by elimination that it's going to be business architecture that is not an input to a product roadmap. And you are correct. The answer is C, business architecture. Good reasoning there. So this is not an input to a product roadmap. It is defined as a set of organizational functions, documents, locations, processes, and structures. That's a component of enterprise architecture. It's an input to assessing current and future states as part of a needs assessment, among other activities that are part of a business analysis and their processes and practices. So the other answer options, business objectives, goals, and feature requirements are all inputs to a product roadmap. And some of the main benefits of a product roadmap are establishing expectations for a project and prioritizing features. Any questions, Dan? Yeah, I've got a couple. Uh, You mentioned that this is part of the business analysis domain for the exam. Is this something new? Actually, it is. Business analysis is a new core concept in the CAPM 7th edition. 
And the reason why business analysis is so important is that it helps when creating or improving products, identifying and translating requirements, solving problems, determining solutions, and assessing stakeholder needs. Ah, great. Thanks for that clarification. The other one I have is that goals and objectives seem to be closely related. Um, are they defined differently according to the PMI standards? Great question. So they are defined differently, and these definitions come from a combination of PMI sources for the exam, so I'm paraphrasing, but a goal is defined as what an organization wants to achieve or accomplish, whereas an objective is defined as more of a quantifiable outcome that's required from a product, service, or result. Basically broad and overarching versus specific and measurable. And PMI's Business Analysis for Practitioners, a practice guide, has a great section about goal models and business objectives if our listeners would like to learn more. Well, thank you so much for being my project management test subject today, Dan. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate the opportunity to be here. Absolutely. And for you project managers out there, in case you haven't heard, the next PMI major update is going to be the PMI ACP, which is the Agile Certified Practitioner Exam. And PMI will be releasing that in November of this year. And N2K will have a practice test ready shortly thereafter. And thank you for joining me for this week's Cert Bite. If you're actively studying for this certification and have any questions about study tips or even future certification questions you'd like to see, please feel free to email me at certbyte at n2k.com. That's C-E-R-T-B-Y-T-E at n2k.com. If you'd like to learn more about N2K's practice tests, visit our website at n2k.com forward slash certify. For more resources, including our new N2K Pro offerings, check out the cyberwire.com forward slash pro. For sources and citations for this question, please check out our show notes. Happy certifying. <laughs>